Hey there, it's Steve at MuseThemes.com. Let's take a look at a sweet new widget that we have called the Collapsible Text Boxes widget. So I'm using a new theme here called Thrive. We're just putting the finishing touches on this theme right now. It's a not-for-profit site. However, you can see in the site we have this text block and below the text block we have show more. So that would imply, of course, that you could click on it and the box would expand. So let's preview this in the browser and I'll show you how it looks. So of course we have show more and we, when we mouse over it and click it, the box actually opens up with a really kind of nice smooth transition and the content below actually shifted down. So you see this a lot in things like FAQ, frequently asked questions, and just anywhere where you're having long blocks of text that can be really um, you know, overwhelming for users to read on a site. So this widget is quite powerful. It has a lot of options. Let's go into Muse and I'll show you how it works. So the first thing we'll do is I'm actually just going to delete that out and I have a block of text over here that was originally in the site. Let me move this down out of the way so we have some room. Okay, let's say we had the block in here like this. So the first thing we'll do is go over to our library panel and in the Muse Themes toolbox, scroll down to collapsible text boxes. So let's drag that out on the page. Okay, and I'll clean this up a little bit so you can see. I'm just going to move this out of the way for now. So when we drag it out on the page initially, we get a little text box preview. And that's kind of the nice thing about this widget is it generates a really, a really good in-app preview of it. So the first thing we'll do is let's just drop in our text. So the way that we do that, do that, excuse me, is uh, let's select this entire block of text here, and I'm just going to copy it. And now in the widget options panel, if we bring it up in this second block here, it says enter text. And so let's click in there. I'm going to delete out what's in there already, and I'm going to just paste in the entire block that we had. Okay. So now that we've done that, um, we have some control options for how we want this widget to collapse. I'm going to delete out this old block right now because we don't need it anymore. And let's bring out the file panel again and take a look at this first section. So the first option we have is collapse mode. And right now it's set to the number of lines. But if you bring up this drop down, you can select characters, words, or lines. So basically, what we could do is we could set words and then the option below that, which is collapse limit, is set to two. So if we select words and it says collapse at two, basically what it's going to do is show the first two words of that text block. If we went to characters and it's left at two, we're gonna see the first two characters of that block. Obviously this is way, way too small, but uh, let's go to words and let's maybe select something like 25. There, so now the widget has measured all of the number of words in this block and it's actually just showing the correct number and then we have a show more button after that. So that's really powerful, I think. Um, it's, a, it's really nice to be able to control where you want it to stop. And if we went to lines, lines is probably my favorite. We, we want less than 25 lines, that's pretty much the whole block. But let's say we went to four lines. Then you get a nice preview here of how it's going to kind of collapse to that level. So it's pretty slick. Now the next options that we have in here is the display speed. So we have three options, slow, medium, and fast. Basically what this does is just controls the transition speed of the text coming up and down. So right now it's set to slow, but if I put it on fast, let's take a look at that in the browser. So if we click show more, you can see that it kind of pops out really quickly. So they all look really great. Uh, the speeds being preset like that are just kind of to help you get some, some uh, commonly seen speeds in terms of boxes like this collapsing on other sites. But let's go back to maybe medium here. And now the next option we have is to show the show text and the hide text. So basically right here we have show more. And when we expand this, it will say hide text or whatever you set. So whatever you type in this box is going to be what you what's used for that link style. So right now it's set to show more, but we could do something like expand, just in all caps like that. And you can see it instantly changes in the in-app preview. And in the hide text, let's go shrink. Okay, 
So the last setting that we need to look at here is the default ellipsis. So you don't see an ellipsis when you have it on the lines collapse mode, but if we switch this back to words, you see that we have these three dots. That's called an ellipsis. And so we can change what the default ellipsis is. If we wanted it to be some sort of character or word, or let's say we wanted it just to be a lot longer, like several dots. If we just change the default ellipsis there, you can see that it changes within the widget itself. The ellipsis is only available on the words or characters settings here. Um, but, you know, truthfully, I don't think people will use it very often versus just having nice show text and high text. So let's go back to lines. And I'm going to just drop the ellipsis back to the three. Okay. So the kind of the only last option that you need to look at here on the panel is we have a widget ID on this. So if you're going to use many of these on the same page, which I could see you using multiple versions for an FAQ or something like that, just be sure to give it a nice simple ID. And this will help differentiate all of the widgets from one another so that you can have different settings for each of them. So then on the bottom of this box, I just wanted to point this out. Um, some users have requested an easier way to see a live preview of widgets. So this is actually a link, even though Muse doesn't you know, show you a nice cursor that it's linked. It says click here to see a live preview of this widget. If you click that link, it's going to bring up our widget vault and it's going to show you a preview. So the next thing that you're going to wonder on this is how do we you know, style the text? And styling the text is really easy. You just select the widget, go up to the text panel and select what you want. So it's not that different from regular styling text in Muse. The only thing is you can't double click into it and select just a you know, one word or something like that. So let's bring up uh, the size to say 24. We could change the letting to 160, something like that. And of course we have all the regular options that we'd normally have in Muse. Let's preview that in the browser again. So if we expand this, and you can see now it actually says shrink when it's uh, fully expanded there. So, so it's working properly, and I think it looks great. It's really slick how it uh, moves the content down below. So the only thing that I should point out with this is uh, in terms of the way that it moves content down, you may notice when you have elements pinned or um, you know scroll effects applied, it's possible that they may not move out of the way for this box. You know, keep in mind that this widget is a third party system that's really integrated into Muse. So, um, you know, if it were developed by the Adobe Muse team, of course, it would shift all of those elements out of the way. But just keep that in mind. You, you probably want to use this on a fairly simple page that has relatively basic content that's going to shift out of the way for you. Now, one other question that I'd like to address that I think I could see people wondering is in this text box window, unfortunately in the flyout panel, you don't have a lot of options for actually, um, you know, styling the text in terms of putting breaks in it and that sort of thing. If we wanted to put a line break in here and you put the cursor there and hit enter, it just kind of applies the text in that box. It doesn't actually put a break in. So we're going to provide a little bit of help or a guide on just how to actually put some breaks in. But the way to do that is you do need to enter in some HTML tags. Now this isn't like writing code. These are just common tags that are used for line breaks and a line break tag most often looks like this. Let me pull up a notepad here. So like that. So it's basically a slash and a break. So if I copy that and I paste this into this area here and I'm gonna put two of them. And now I hit enter. Let's preview this in the browser. When you click expand, so you can see now that we do actually have, you know, two line breaks in this paragraph itself. So we can do a little bit more styling like this. Uh, I think a lot of users will end up just separating out their text blocks a little bit, but it's very simple to do and we'll provide some commonly used HTML tags that you can drop in there in terms of adding additional styling to the widget. So that's it, that's the collapsible text boxes widget. Uh, I really like this widget. I think it's gonna be really functional and you're gonna see it used on tons and tons of websites going forward. So as always, if you have any questions, let us know and feel free to post on our support portal or our forum and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks again.